everybody. Tom with uh, the OutdoorCookStore.com. Listen, thanks, uh, thanks for checking us out once again. Uh, we sure appreciate it. And a uh, special shout-out, of course, to all of our subscribers, uh, both our YouTube subscribers and our uh, newsletter subscribers. Uh, incidentally, if you have not signed up for our newsletter, be sure to do so on the right-hand side of our blog. We have the, the sidebar, and at the top of that sidebar is an opt-in form for our newsletter. Uh, we'll keep you updated on all uh, you know, recipes and new products and uh, some product discounts, too, for all of our newsletter subscribers. So be sure to take advantage of that today. Um, what I thought I'd do today is uh, we're firing up our old uh, Bayou Classic 4-gallon uh, propane fryer, and we're going to do... I mean, we're going to fry up quite a few things, but uh, we're going to do a little fish and chips. I just did a nice little fishing trip up on the north coast. we got some rock cod, so we'll do some fish and trip, chips, and then we'll also follow that up with a bunch of different uh, vegetables and stuff. So, anyway, let's uh, just real quick, if you want to kind of come through here, this is a freestanding unit, uh, stainless steel, freestanding unit. Now, we obviously have this. We've taken the legs off of this and inserted it into the uh, accessory cart. So this cart just makes things a lot simpler. you got a shelf, rolls around real simple. Uh, if you look here on the back of the unit, you've got your exhaust and your flame all in the back away from you. So, you know, when you're up front working, don't even worry about spilling on that, uh, that flame. This is, this is just an engineer great, it's a great little fire. So. Uh, in front of the machine, you'll see the uh, uh, temperature gauge, so it's right there in the open, and you never want to let it get up past 400, so it's marked real easy, you see that needle get up there, it's time to shut it down, or turn it down, or off. So, anyway, this is a great little unit, uh, really durable, uh, I love the thing, we've cooked up quite a few, uh, quite a few fish, all kinds of good stuff in here, so... Anyway, listen, let me get the, the fish out here. We'll get it rolling here in a few minutes and uh, get, you, get you back here and show you how it's done. Okay, I'm getting our oil getting up to temperature. So we're putting our fries in. You don't want to do too much. I'll do a couple batches of this. I'm going to water here tonight. So I'll do a couple batches of that. And I've got some fish. I've done this in two different ways. We just did some, some egg and some seasoned flour, and then we did egg, seasoned flour, and breadcrumbs in some of these. So this is all fresh cod, uh, rock cod from the North California coast. We'll get those on there. And I've had these, these pans sitting in the oil, so hopefully this fish won't stick to that, but... Okay, so I got my tongs here to get it So, okay, temperature's about right. We'll slowly drop them in one at a time. A lot of ones are still enough to save the potatoes. Should take about uh, three minutes or so. And see if it's good. Shouldn't take too long, so we'll be back with a finished product. Okay, we're getting kind of our last batch here, and I think those are both done. But this is uh, this is fish and chips, Bayou Classic style. So we'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna let this cool and drain, and we'll be back. And uh, we've already been picking at it, as you can see. Uh, we'll be back in a minute, but that's uh, that's how easy this product. All right, folks, this is finished product. Uh, fish, chips, mmm, fresh caught out of the California North Coast, deep fried in the Bayou four gallon fryer. Doesn't get any better than this, folks. French fries or chips. This is really freaking good. Really freaking good. Folks, I'll have links in the, in the blog post so you can, if you, if you want more information or purchase, uh, this, this product, uh, the four-gallon fryer or the accessory cart, I'll have links where you can get that. Uh, but uh, listen, give this, uh, give this fish a try. It's great, and uh, we'll catch up to you next time. God bless everybody.